Hi, no Ataxia Nation, and thank you for tuning in to another podcast about ataxia awareness. Today, I'd like to talk about episodic ataxia. Did you know that episodic ataxia affects less than 0.001% of the population? People who have episodic ataxia experience episodes of poor coordination and or balance, which last from several seconds to several hours. There are eight recognized types of episodic ataxia. All of them are hereditary, and the most common are types 1 and 2. Episodic ataxia type 1 typically appears in early childhood. The child will have brief bouts of ataxia that last between a few seconds and a few minutes, and they can have up to 30 of these in one day. The episodes may be triggered by fatigue, caffeine, or stress. And with episodic ataxia, people who have it also report difficulty with their speech, involuntary movements, tremors or muscle weakness, muscle stiffening, muscle cramps, and some even have epilepsy. This type of ataxia is caused from a mutated gene. And if one of the parents carries this mutated gene, a child has a 50% chance of getting this type of ataxia. Episodic ataxia type 2 usually appears in childhood or early adulthood, and it's characterized by episodes of ataxia that last hours. However, these episodes occur less frequently than they do with episodic ataxia 1, ranging from 1 or 2 per year to 3 to 4 per week. They can be triggered by stress, caffeine, alcohol, medication, fever, or physical exertion. And people with episodic ataxia too can also experience difficulty with their speech, double vision, and ringing in the ears. Imagine that. Thanks for tuning in to this podcast. I hope you learned a little something about episodic ataxia, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you for listening in to the Did You Know podcast with your host, Dana Morrow. Please subscribe to this channel to hear all of the latest podcasts. We hope that this podcast has provided you with valuable information and inspires you to advocate for yourself and educate everyone in your circle. Remember, You are the expert and best spokesperson for your rare disease. Thank you.